Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sabbath School here at the College Church. Um, I, am, I hope that you are glad to be here as I am. Um, every day that I wake up, I thank the Lord that I am awake and that I'm breathing. And I'm especially grateful for uh, when things just go right. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it here this morning. I left home in Fitchburg at eight o'clock and about five minutes after leaving home, I got a flat tire, but thank the Lord I'm here now. So that's my, one of my uh, small praises this morning. And I hope um, that you can share with our next installment of Senior Moments of Prayer and Praise. Good morning. Our scripture reading this morning is from Psalms 5, verses 1 to 3. Psalms 5, verses 1 to 3. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the song of my cry and my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. morning. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's nice to be awakened. This is our third senior moment, and many of you may recognize this phrase as meaning something kind of negative. Someone told me the other day they were talking to someone and forgot something, and they apologized by referring to it as a senior moment. Our senior moments have had, have had a positive spin, and I hope that today will be no different. Actually, what could be more positive than praise and prayer? Just a word about our participants today. I'm Elnora King, as many of you know, and uh, we want to thank Judy Brown, who's been very faithful and uh, ready to get it calling us to meditation uh, many times for Sabbath school. I want to thank the Greenages, my father and son team, and um, then we'll have uh, Ruby Hernandez, who is our college church prayer coordinator. And Ruby is always, always encouraging the church to pray without ceasing. We always like to see people join us after church services in the, you might want to call it the upper room, it's the inner room, I guess. Um, and we've had some very good experiences there uh, in prayer and sharing. That's after church services every week. So please, we like to see the men in there also. Neve Joseph, the wife of our interim pastor. We're thankful for their ministry and glad she's able to join us this morning. Elio Fuentes, our faithful behind the scene member. When duty calls, Elio is there. As a matter of fact, those bulletins you have in your hands, he's responsible for getting them to us every week. Thank you. 
Anthony Figueredo always inspires us with the blessing of his music on the bassoon. Is that right? Bassoon. Eloise Loss, the mom of Cameron, he recently had an insert in the church, bullet church uh, newsletter, if you notice, also making an appeal to us for prayer. And he specifically mentioned uh, Friday night, but has said that if you want to do it every night at 7 o'clock, that's even better. So let's remember to accept that invitation for prayer on behalf of our church and church family. Today we are especially privileged to have a guest soloist. She is one of Lancaster's own daughter of Albert Stoddard who played the harmonica, if you remember, for one of our, our, our very first uh, senior moment. She and her family recently, recently returned to the area. Lenou, with William Ness, will bless us, and we are so thankful that you are going to be able to do that. And uh, as the phrase goes, who says you can't come back? Thank you for coming back. And as usual, thanks to our PA staff who willingly serves us. And also thanks to Ethel. I was looking around trying to find this picture and Ethel Jensen had one. So thank you, Ethel, for the loan. So at this time, I would invite you to keep in the attitude of prayer as our program progresses. Thank you. Bless Sabbath to each one. It's good to have you here with us to worship. No other life was ever so crowded with labor and responsibility as was that of Jesus. Yet how often he was found in prayer. How constant was his communion with God. Rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. In communion with God, he could unburden the sorrows that were crushing him. Here he found comfort and joy. From Desire of Ages, page 362 to 363. May the Lord bless you. I am a channel for the flow of God's blessings. There are many ways in which I can help to order especially those who are near and dear to me. But I know that I cannot live their lives for them, that there is no need for such action. Always the most effective help I can give to others is to pray for them, to acknowledge that God is a living presence within them. Prayer opens the way for God's power to work. Let us pray. Éternel, notre Dieu, notre Père, nous voulons te remercier de ce que tu nous as permis d'être ici ce matin dans ton temple afin de te louer, de te donner gloire et honneur. Tu voudras bénir au tendre Père tous ceux qui sont présents et ceux qui sont en route pour ta maison. Veux les bénir et permets au Dieu que le moment que nous passons ici te soit agréable. Tu voudras bénir toutes les écoles du sabbat du monde entier. Réponds tes grâces et tes bienfaits sur tes enfants ce sabbat matin. Fais nos grâces et permets au Dieu que 
qu'à notre sortie d'ici, nous puissions être plus près de toi, au nom de Jésus. Amen. Answer to prayers. The Savior longs to give us a greater blessing than we ask, and he delays the answer to our request that he may show us the evil of our own hearts and our deep need of his grace. He desires to renounce the selfishness that leads us to seek him, Confessing our helplessness and bitter need, we are to trust ourselves wholly to his love. Desire of Ages, page 200. Let's pray. Oremos. Padre nuestro, Te damos gracias en esta mañana por el sol que nos alumbra. Te damos gracias por la oportunidad que tenemos de responder a tu llamado y encontrarnos aquí contigo en esta mañana. Te suplicamos que en nuestro medio no haya nada que impida nuestra relación contigo y nuestra comunicación contigo a través de nuestras oraciones. Te rogamos que nos ayudes a poner en práctica la enseñanza que hay en el Padre Nuestro, que debemos perdonar a nuestros semejantes así como tú nos perdonas. Te rogamos que podamos también poner en práctica la enseñanza de Juan 13, 34 y 35, donde tú nos dices 
nos diste un nuevo mandamiento, que nos amemos unos a otros. Te rogamos que esto sea una práctica diaria en nuestras vidas, para que así podamos reflejar al mundo y a aquellos que nos rodean su amor y que ellos también puedan ser animados a servirte. Te rogamos que nos ayudes en este día de sábado a que nada nos impida tener una relación estrecha contigo. Te lo suplicamos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. When God says to pray, he really means it. To pray is the most commonly mentioned command in scripture. It is mentioned more than go to church and more than evangelize, more than love your neighbor, more than anything else. God calls us to pray. That comment is by Max Licata. Oremos. Querido Pai que estás no céu, agradecemos-te pelo dom da vida e por todas as bênçãos que nos dás e também pela fé e o convite que nos fazes à oração. Sim, porque nos comandas a orar. É o assunto mais vezes mencionado nas Santas Escrituras, mais do que era na Igreja, mais do que evangelizar, mais do que amar ao nosso próximo, mais do que qualquer outra coisa. Deus, chama-nos a orar. Senhor, ajuda-nos a orar. Amém. Psalms 117. Pray, oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. And let all his people say, Praise be to God. Let us bow our heads for prayer, the closing prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we plead this morning that you will come among us and fill each of our hearts with your spirit and let your perfect will be done in each and every one of our lives that we will bring glory and honor to you. I ask in the name of Jesus, and I thank you. Amen. I hope everyone here got a real sense and glimpse of God's breadth and depth of love towards all of us. I hope you appreciated all the different, different ways that we can speak to God and God can hear us, regardless of 
of how old we are, how young we are, what language we speak. I'd like to thank everyone this morning for, for participating in today's program. And I'd like to remind everyone that we have, in the sanctuary, we have uh, four Sabbath school classes, a Spanish class directly in the back, um, two classes, or well, one class here, one class there, one class there. Thank you all. <laughs>